Hello everybody and in today's video I'll be showing you the 190T Helix Cut performance first. Okay. That's it. It's not exactly the most impressive or long or weird flourishy looking thing, but it's just a nice um full cut. And it's so fast and so so many packets at the same time moving around that the spectator just won't be able to follow and they'll presume that you are just mixing up the cards. When, in theory, you are not in the slightest bit. Top card is the five of hearts, bottom card is the three of hearts. Top card is still the five of hearts, bottom card is still the three of hearts. <clears throat> so now I'm going to show you a bit slower so you can see how the packets are moving. As you already saw there, you're going to need to know how to swing cut and how to swivel. I'm not the best at swivel cuts. <clears throat> so, swivel looks like that. Sorry. Oh, don't drop a card whilst you do a swivel cut. So, swivel looks like that. And swing looks like that. Okay. So let's get into the tutorial and I'm going to do this step by step. So the first thing that you need to do is swing cut the packet just a tiny bit off the top. Okay, grab that in your left hand or if you're <coughs> left handed, I'm right handed, but if you're left handed just reverse what I'm doing. Okay, then as you swing cut this packet in half, or it doesn't really matter about estimates, what you're going to do is as you swing cut this, you're going to come in with your index and you know, you're going to roll it underneath this packet and then extend. Now what's that going to do is it's going to flip this packet over. This will give you room to drop this bottom packet here. Okay, now all you have to do is with these fingers here just apply some pressure and close this packet. Okay, so let's recap. You're going to swing cut, you're going to swing cut again as you roll this. You're going to drop it, and you're going to apply some pressure with your fingers there to close this. Okay, you won't be able to close it all the way, but that's good. Okay, so that will go onto your index finger and it will rest there. You can let go if you want a little bit. This packet hidden, this is for me the most awkward part, but for you it might be the bit where you're rolling over the packet. That just takes practice. This for me is quite awkward. You're going to have to swing cut this small packet here, and that's why it's awkward for me because to do it fast, generally I'll drop a card or it will just be too awkward because the packet that I'm swing cutting is too small. So, you want what you want to do is swing cut this packet like this. And you've still got this top packet with a break, and with your three fingers, your thumb and pinky, you're going to grab hold of this packet. Okay, so you are now holding three packets and one packet here. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to swivel cut all the packets. You're going to start off by swivel cutting the middle packet, okay? Then the bottom packet, and then the top, okay? Sorry, the top card is the not, um, six of clubs, bottom is the eight of hearts, okay? And the top card is the six of clubs, bottom card is still the eight of hearts. Um, one, some tips uh, about things that might make you go wrong is when doing this rolling part, don't worry about extending it all the way like that. Even if your finger's still a bit rolled, it doesn't matter, because all you're going to do is curl that in a bit and pick it up. So don't worry too much, as long as you're able to do that motion quick, which doesn't take too much practice. Another thing is, when you're putting this packet onto here, make sure not to take the top packet, but to drop the bottom packet. Okay? And then the last tip is, don't, when you swivel, don't just take, don't take the top packet first. Because that would be very awkward and the cards will not stay in order. For, so an example of that is Ace of Clubs on top, Eight of Hearts on bottom. As you can see it's much harder to do and it's very awkward. And the cards do stay the same but as you can clearly see it's just less awkward. 
um, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please uh, like this video. Comment down below. If you're having some trouble, please uh, make a video response um, showing me what your problem is, or just comment down below or PM me. And if you really enjoyed this, please subscribe because there'll be lots more tutorials in the future. Um, yeah, I've been practicing that move for a long time now. And yeah, see you guys next time. Goodbye and good luck. With